Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Soul Trader, a build that was released on June 9th, 2016. This video is going to be about how to do some mining. Now, mining is something that you do after you get a certain amount of skill under your belt in terms of finding weapons and maybe some capital. Uh, this ship that I have right here, and you can see the specs of your ship by clicking on your ship and then going to spec, and you can then see the attributes of your weapon if you click on it. This particular weapon is bugged, and you'll see what happens when I use it, but uh, let me show you one that's not bugged. Alright, so you have rate of fire, you have muzzle velocity, and bolt size. For mining, you really want to focus on the rate of fire, as well as the bolt size. From what I can surmise, fire rate is how often you fire, duh, and bolt size uh, indicates how much damage you do with, the with that particular weapon. So these are the kind of weapons you're going to want to look for to, uh, to do some mining. They also do plenty good against other ships as well. I've had a few instances where a poor guy will get in front of me while I'm mining, <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to how to mitigate that, but I was right on top of the rock when it was doing it, so that person, poor Roseanne Jagger, just wanted to die. Anyways, here we go. I really lucked out with my uh, my seed here, and there is a diamond vein right next to Mercury. Now, when it comes to shooting um, fast weapons, in this particular build there is an issue where the the, the sound will get all staticky, and uh, I want to save everyone's headphones, so I'm going to reduce the sound of the game right here. One second. All right, so you should not be hearing the game right now. Hopefully. All right. So what you normally would do is you want to like kind of zoom out to see what kind of uh, rocks are floating around. Now there's a couple that you can see that um, have different color colorization to them. Uh, I got really lucky and found a diamond vein, but diamond veins are kind of a lighter color than the others. I think this might be a titanium. Let me see. Nope, just a regular rock. So let me show you what a regular rock looks like first. It's a little dark. Dark black, gray, all that good stuff. Titanium is going to be a lot darker than this. It's going to be more black. Let's look around for others. So you kind of want to just skip between zooming out and zooming back in. And they, they tend to have a particular shape that you'll begin to to recognize as you do more mining. Let's hit this other field over here. I think there's some other types. Yeah, you can see right there that even before it said diamond, you can see it was diamond. It looked like the light blue color right there. This one, uh, not that one, this one here, without even clicking on it, I can tell it's, it's silver. Double click on it, it will tell you silver. One down here is copper. You'll see it looking kind of like a gold and blue tint to it. Kind of makes you think that there are gold rocks out there to mine. I haven't found one yet, so if someone's found one, please let me know. I'd be interested. So it's got like a gold and blue to it, so it kind of tries to make you think that it's diamond and or, um, and or gold. This one looks colored as well, so I'm going to go over to it, and it's nickel. So you just gotta memorize what a regular rock looks like, and uh, the color color of it, and uh, you'll be able to find other rocks. So let's go ahead and start mining. Like I said, if um, the uh, OBS isn't properly, if the OBS hasn't properly turned down the sound of the game, please just uh, stay away from your headphones for this because it gets pretty staticky. All right, so when you're mining. It will give you an indication of there's a, like a percentage. If there's no percentage, that means it just hasn't been damaged yet. So like this one is 93% and this one is 10%. So with a regular slow slow weapon that you start off with, this will take 
pretty much a day and a half in game to get done. But if uh, you've been finding the right items for mining, uh, it will go this quick. So as you can see, the number is going up really quick. And uh, once it hits 100%, you'll see some debris come out. Now, this ship can hold two. So as I said earlier about killing other players, as soon as you start shooting and they tend to just... Oh, looks like that guy is a bad guy. He's trying to shoot me. Oh, got me. So with these weapons, you can see just... I'm interested to see if I get a story out of this. Yes, so getting attacked is actually really good for you um, for bragging rights. This guy obviously can't get a shot off of me because he's too slow, but um, as you can see, oh, he's shooting somebody else now. All right, I have to make sure that they're both trying to shoot me because I think one is trying to shoot the ore and the other one is trying to shoot me. They are very close together, so I don't want to kill the guy. Oh, I got me again. Don't want to kill the innocent bystander here. Oh my gosh, get away from him. Alright, here we go. And he's dead. So, let's see what kind of story I got from that. So he attacked, or she attacked me and I killed her. So, in my version of the game, I have uh, selected to not have escape pods, so that person is dead, dead, dead. All right, back to mining. Gosh, every time I make a video, something happens. That's strange like that. So uh, what I didn't explain, and I could pick up some of the stuff. Someone else is shooting over here, but I think it's just a miner. Let's see. Is he trying to shoot me? No. All right. So... Um, the way I was able to figure out that I was being shot at was, as you can see, this person's name and uh, ship is in a white color. His or hers was in a red, kind of a, a light red color. That can, that's how you can tell if someone's after you. Now, if you go after somebody without having the proper need to do so, you get a pretty negative, like this is a pretty negative um, story for me. I, like, I, I really shouldn't have killed her. But, uh, yeah, it's more fun on video. But, um, let's see. So, frontier space. So, whenever you kill somebody, you got to make sure you're looking at which faction did you just blow out of the sky. So, front frontier space is actually probably the best of the four factions that could have poss I could possibly kill. Because um, I've got three other factions to brag about. Like, oh, I shot that guy out of the sky. And a red story, a red piece of information is really strong in terms of um, the attribute gains you get as well as the happy or love or I don't know likes that you get from somebody. Let me, let me give you an example of that. So let's pick a friend of mine, Mr. Senator. So this guy likes me to this level, level three, which is the third one. I think the uh I think the president loves me. Let's see, where is she? So that's that's his people list. I'm gonna get to mine. Where's President Lang? Yeah, so her her like levels at four. So this became more than a, just a mining video. All right, so um, let's go ahead and finish this guy up, get my diamond, and then head back to Mercury. So like I said, I really lucked out with this seed. Where there are two diamond veins, it doesn't really matter if there's two or one, but there's one diamond vein right next to Mercury, which allows me to uh, head out for the night and then just fly right back, which really min minimizes how much damage your ship takes. Unfortunately, because I was toying with my prey, I did take some pretty good amount of damage there. It's nighttime, so I'm going to sleep and then head over to the market in the morning and sell me some diamonds. Much market, trade goods, and there we go. Around um, eighteen thousand, or uh, <laughs> about thirteen, fourteen thousand worth of uh, diamonds right there. Thirteen point five, exactly. All right, 
and that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is Johnny O'Neill's playing Soul Trader.